So my friend Anthony here, 100% Gracie University student from, the, from Canada. And uh, he even sounds like GSP. And the guy trained in Canada for a couple years, blue belt stripe two through Gracie University, very sharp. But luckily, I wrote Gracie University, so I got blue belt stripe three on him. Let's see. <laughs> Brother. Yeah, man. <laughs> Tell him where you're from in Canada. Uh, New Brunswick, Canada. Boom. So he's here. He's like, Henry, I came to California because I wanted to test Gracie University, train with people who train at the academy, and see how it goes. Well, this is it. So Hiron and I absolutely love when people come from out of town to train at the academy, whether it's from another academy or whatnot but nothing more gratifying than meeting a pure Gracie University student because it gives us the assurance that people are actually retaining the information we're putting out there and uh, Anthony is no exception. So here he goes from the mount, neck hug, wrist pin, he's going for the mounted triangle, I top arm through, he slips off, shuffles over, boom, nice little tip from the turtle right there and then I immediately catch his inside arm, tricep, arm, kind of grab his, well, <laughs> he kicked the camera, let's get a slow-mo, check it out. So he goes for a mounted triangle, I go top arm through, I come out the back door, which is a legitimate defense of the mounted triangle, he does a great job of re kind of coming back on top, she kind of spins around the turtle position, uses his knee to block my knee, watch his knee, tip right there, he used his knee to block mine, fell off to the side, and now I land here, inside arm control, I frame his neck a little bit, watch how I grab his lat right here, I fake the guard attempt, I'm going to pretend like my right knee's going to put him in the guard, when he runs away from that knee, I put my feet on the ground and I bridge with this like, top shoulder roll. That is very effective. He kicks the actual foam freaking shotgun mic on the camera, and then you'll see Mark's hand grab the... <laughs> That's so dope. Luckily, the camera didn't get broke. That would have been expensive. Um, so here we end up in the open guard. I'm just feeling it out. He's looking to connect with his hooks. I do a quick little leg drag. You see how I fed his leg across? Boom, right there to the thigh control. Trying to get inside. He's doing a good job blocking with his hand, so I switch to like a reverse knee on belly position. And then I shoot right over the top. Very floaty, but he does a great job switching into X guard. Lost the hook, got it back for a quick second. Slips out the back, immediate hook extension. Love it, beautiful. So right here, X guard, he has his X guard hooks in. He feels my, my legs are a little too long for him to uh, sweep me the traditional way, so he'll slip his other hand underneath. He can't reach my ankle, so he slips under my leg. Look, switches his hands, brings both kind of reverse butterfly hook right here, pushes away on my thighs and pulls my pelvis down to be able to take the back. I love it, I love it, I love it. That's Blue Ball Stripe 2 classic right there. So now here he goes for the over under. <laughs> he studied. So here he lands in the over under. I'm trying to prevent his hooks a little bit. Here we go. We let him. He pulls me to the strong side where he had a hook. So typically, when you have no hooks, you put one in and you pull him to the same side. Anthony did that beautifully. Now he's attacking the neck. And I know he wants to be on the weak side because there aren't so many attacks here on the strong side. The whole triple threat back attack series is impossible when you're on the strong side. So he has modified back mount. He puts both hooks in. And now let's see if he uses beautiful crossover. So he uses the foot on the mat to cross over to the weak side where he has way more attack options. Look at this. Now that he has an underhook, he's pinning my wrist down with two hands, going for double sleeve clamps on my wrist. going to shrimp out, heel in the pocket, cross his feet over my stomach right there. And now he has options for triangles or chokes. See, because I'm defending the neck so well, he rocked me over to a seated position. Now he's staying sitting up. I able to plow over his leg and defend from the reverse triangle and then kind of transition there like a little double leg on top. Quick knee, uh, quick uh, leg drag right here, pressuring with that inside knee, controlling his upper body a little tighter than I did last time. Switch my knees inside the hip area and then bug the neck for the guillotine and step over. So I was going to go directly to mount right there, but I went for the guillotine instead. Right now I'm cupping his chin very firmly with my right hand and my left hand is looking to grab my own hand. He felt such a threat that he rolled trying to defend the guillotine. Look at, so I'm bugging his neck. He's not... It's like a loose guillotine, but it's there. I'm under his chin. I'm putting pressure. He feels a little desperation, so he's going to try to roll out of the guillotine before he taps. As he rolls, I'm going to use my feet, to, my hooks to tag along, find his hip right there, and then mount up. So now I have the guillotine from the mount. It looks pretty tight. I'm under his chin. It's blue belt stripe three, so he's not set yet mastered it. <laughs> there it is. So quick roll over here, back in the close guard. And a nice throat grab, nice bicep control, good posture here. He's standing up. I go for the double ankles. He kicks out beautifully, nice to the knee split. Right here, he's bugging my ankle a little bit, thinking about sliding his knee up the middle. Oh, reverse drop right there on the knee, but I barely slip my knee out in time. And now I try to tag along to his ankles here, put my head in his hips, get up and get the sweep. Now I'm just kind of smashing on his hooks right here, just kind of draping over his butterfly guard, crossing from side to side, got past his leg, knee on belly, quick transition to mount. Grabbed his wrist, see if I can go for the wrist isolation sequence from the mount, didn't work. He pushed away on my hips beautifully to butterfly guard. He'll elevate here, see what he can, I'm trying to keep my legs heavy. Nice job switching to X guard right there. 
Perfect. Look at that nice stickiness on my ankle. That was cool. So he pushes up the butterfly guard, underhooks one leg, uses that same hook to go inside for the high hook on the X guard. As soon as it lands right there, nice sticky hooks, nice sticky hooks. I'm trying to peel his hook up top, just kind of standing real tall. He does a good job keeping my ankle. Look at his left hand. And that's why I can't step back. So he's able to get the sweep, come on top, and then look for his pass. Boom. He's coming up. I did like a quick little arm drag right there. And his, he lost his balance, and then I fell right into the triangle. So I, we couldn't see from that angle, but I kind of pulled his arm across, threatened the back take, and then his arms landed in a triangle setup position here. So now he's posturing in my guard, bringing his hand back in. Nice, BBS1, triangle counter with posture. Got back in the guard, saved his neck. So here, boom, modify. I'll kick his knee, watch. Oh, nice, quick little feet. Boom, guillotine feet on the near side guard pass. That was sick. So from here, we keep working the neck a little bit. Boom. Bug that, didn't work. Quick, another quick leg drag attempt. He lands here in triangle setup. Posturing, posturing, posturing. He's gonna try to sit up and grab my head. Trying to keep my neck strong right here. Very strong triangle setup. He's determined to get my head down, but I'm also pretty determined to stay up. Boom, I fall down with him. I put my form across his stomach. Just kind of bugging him with a high stack right here, driving my weight really f annoyingly forward until my arm can slip back inside. Boom. So here, he's framing my neck a little bit. Seeing what pops. Got to 1.5 right here. Nice jump. I slipped my head out on the 1.5. Now he ends up in the omoplata. He's looking to sit up. I'm going to tip him back down right here. Look. Boom. Off balance him. He grabs the near side ankle. Nice omoplata tip. Nice. Oh. That was dope. Uh, testing him. Make sure he did his homework. That was really slick right there. That was a BBS3 omoplata tip over when he grabbed the inside ankle. Oh, nice. <laughs> I went for the ankle pick and got up with it. He kept a good balance though. Messing around here, clinching a little bit. Head control. Oh, nice little foot sweep. Look, I pull his neck and as soon as I pull, I slap his foot while it's moving. Boop. And he falls. <laughs> And he goes right to the guard. <laughs> it's crazy. Thank you, brother. Serious. Gracie University. So there it is, you guys. I mean, man, there's absolutely nothing more gratifying than knowing that there are people out there like Anthony who have absolutely no access to quality jiu-jitsu instruction, yet they're able to essentially learn the language of jiu-jitsu through Gracie University. And then they come out to California occasionally, and we shake hands and we roll like that. Nothing serious, no one's angry, no one's trying to prove anything, but the fact that he can speak jujitsu and we can flow and we can roll and we can have fun, and this guy has never formally trained at any jujitsu school in his life, and man, there's just, that's what it's all about, you know? So anybody out there who's training on Gracie University, who's going through the curriculum, man, if you can ever make the trek out to Torrance or any of the, you know, certified training centers at that, and just get to experience, you know, training in person at an academy. Do it, you guys. Go there, feel the vibe, connect, and, uh, you know, and, and just verify that you're on the right track. You know, Anthony comes out here, does amazingly well with the other students. I feel him for myself, and I know that what he's doing back home uh, with his training partners in his Gracie garage is legit. And, uh, man, I just can't wait to see where the jiu-jitsu journey ends up for someone like this. It's ridiculous. Couldn't be happier with his progress. Couldn't be happier to know that it's landing. And uh, man, we won't stop till we drop. Much respect. If you want more, check it out. GracieUniversity.com. Tons more narrated sparrings with one arm tied, two arms tied, three arms tied, blindfolded, fight simulation, black belts, brown belts, all belt levels. We spar with them and we narrate it so you know what's going down on the mat and in our brains. Much respect, you guys. Thanks.